Hey guys, and welcome to another video. Uh, today I'm going to be reviewing Johan Gourcuff. He's probably one of my favorite players of all time. Play, he's French, and he plays for Stade René. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. And they're in Ligue 1, in uh, the first division in uh, France. And let's just start the review. So this is the team that I'm playing him in right now. Uh, this is what his stats look like right here. Obviously he has that 5 star weak foot, 4 star skills that's going to come in handy. And his work rate is pretty good at high and medium. And he can play at 3 different positions, center attacking mid, center mid, and left wing. I am playing him in the ultimate team. Alright, let's get started with uh, his stats. Or I guess not his stats. Let's just start with uh, some of his pros. So what I really found to be awesome with Gorkuf is uh, his vision. One of the main things that he's like great at and this was what he's known for in real life is just his elegance on the ball like he can get the ball you can just slam the pass into him or out of nowhere he can just like touch a ball control it completely and um, you'll have somebody there just to pick it up and move the ball like wherever you want it and that's what he was he was a distributor for me and he always found the player that I wanted to pass to uh, something that let him down though was not his ball control but his dribbling um, I think it's more of like an acceleration thing, but like he can dribble. If you're not away, you're probably not going to get away if there's like two or three defenders on you. So that's one of the, his cons that I found right there. Uh, another thing is that his positioning was fantastic. Like if my strikers were up uh, right in the six or in the, pretty much the box, Gokuf was there to get the rebound or to lay off another pass. Like he was always there at the right time. Or if it was just a striker by himself with any foot because he does have that five star weak foot. And another thing too is something that's a little underrated for him is that his strength is at 76, but it really didn't feel that way just because um, not many people can push him off the ball. Like it, it, honestly, him and you're not trying to dribble forward, he might not lose the ball. And that's honestly something that's fantastic, especially for a midfielder. It's the free kick accuracy, which was 81, but also the sh the shot power behind it was it's a it's a decent 77. But you're gonna put the ball on target, whether it's from the 25 yards or 35 yards, it's gonna be there. And Gorkuf is one of those players that. You can pretty much do anything with the ball with him as long as you're attacking. Can't really defend for anything, which of course you don't really expect him to just because he's that midfielder. But he will put the ball forward, get you a goal, or get you a, a decisive pass to start the play or a decisive pass to finish the play. A huge con for him though was his pace. Um, I don't really play with pace in this FIFA like I used to, like FIFA 11, 12, 13, 14. Um, it kind of died down a lot with FIFA 15 and now 16, so pace doesn't really matter, but at the same time, if you want to get away from those two defenders, or maybe just one in the midfield, it's really difficult with Gorkouf because he just doesn't have the pace for it. I mean, it's not that he's slow, because there's much slower players than him, it's just that he's not particularly fast, and he won't like accelerate past any player. You're going to need him to go on a break by himself, or to just um, put a ball forward. Uh, the next, like I said, is the dribbling. So a lot of people think that dribbling and ball control are kind of the same thing, which they are in a way, but ball control is how you control the ball when he's receiving it, which was perfect. But as far as dribbling goes, he needs the space to dribble, and he does have four-star skills, that's awesome, but his acceleration lets him down, and you can't really get by people. And then finally, the biggest con for Gorkouf is his stamina like the, you, you might need to sub him out um i play every game i played with him the full 90 minutes even i've gone into extra time three games with him and uh he's kind of let me down when it gets to those minutes just because he can't keep up and you can't accelerate or sprint away because you're stuck at whatever his stamina is at so you're pretty much just going to use him at, as like that just lob the ball forward rule i mean without really talking about him too much Gorkouf is a fantastic player. I definitely rec recommend him for a starter squad, uh, especially one in Ligue 1. You might want to use Ben Arfa, but um, just because he is one of my favorite players and he just came out, I thought I'd do a review on him uh, since uh, EA updated their database. Uh, Gorkouf is just one of those players that I can't really let go of, especially with his elegance on the ball. And you can see that in the game too. It's not just real life. Uh, you can do anything with the ball with him. And... It's just something that you really, right when you use him, you know what you're going to do with him. And it's just, he'll put the ball there for you wherever you want it. You just have to 
like have competent strikers and you have to be competent yourself with finishing otherwise like it you, no matter how you use Goku if you use him perfectly it doesn't matter because he's just going to be the distributor and the end product is not really um, something that is there besides the passing and for so I had one disconnection and uh, in 10 games he scored seven goals for me and had three assists which is actually pretty good especially for like a team like that I had and with uh, his rating uh, it was fantastic oh and I will definitely um, give Gorkouf uh, an 8.5 out of 10 um, I guess that's kind of high maybe it should have been an 8 or maybe 7.5 but I'm pretty biased and just because that I really, really like him. And I, I think you guys will too once you use him. And anyway, thanks for checking this video out. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. And I'll be back with another video. See ya.